Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel that are simple, informative, and achievable no matter what level of makeup you're at. So today we are talking about the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette and I am walking you through a tutorial on how I got this look right here, which is beautiful. However, I struggled a lot with this palette. I've been playing with these shadows for the last like five or six hours and this eye you can see is like come my shadows coming off on the inside. That's because my eyes are pretty much raw from trying so many different looks. When I went to blend these shadows, pretty much every shadow I played with, I completely lost all pigmentation and then I tried to go back on top of it and layer it up because that's not a problem. I have no problem layering up shadows when you blend it, but there was patchiness. So there were only a couple shades that I could make work, which is what I'm sharing with you today. And the whole key for me is the primer I use, which I'm gonna tell you about in the tutorial. That made all the difference. I think I tried like five, six, seven different kind of primers, mostly concealers, which is what I always do, and it just wasn't working. The shadow was pretty much ship slipping right off of my eyes. So this unfortunately is a pass for me. I love Jeffree Star. I think he is one of the most honest people on YouTube. He tells you like it is, so I'm hopeful in giving you my honest opinion about this palette. You will appreciate that. And um, yeah, I know I talked about it a lot and I was excited about it, but unfortunately it's just a miss for me. I hope that it works out for you. I'm hoping that I just got a dud and not everybody is going to struggle like I do because I, I really try when I get a palette that I'm excited about to make it work, even if it's something that I have to kind of tailor my technique. I have no problem with that. I just tried to tailor my technique so many times with this palette and I just couldn't get it to work, unfortunately, because I really, really wanted to love this palette. So anyway, like I said, I know I talked about this palette and you guys wanted to see some looks, so I am sharing this look with you today, which I do think is gorgeous. It was just such a process of getting here. So I'm gonna stop rambling now. If you guys wanna see how I got this look right here, go ahead and keep watching. So this eye is starting to water super bad, so ignore that. I guarantee the blue shadow right here is going to be off by the time I'm done doing this eye, but I've already primed my lid and let it sit for a while with the Milani eyeshadow primer. I tried probably eight different ways of priming my lid, and this is the best solution in my opinion and what works best. I used four different concealers, I used a MAC paint pot, I used a couple other primers, I used no primer at all, and this is the only one that really seemed to want to help the eyeshadow stick. So I put that on and let it dry down. So I'm gonna go in with my first shade, which is Blue Blood. I really wanted to use this shade in the tutorial because it's such a unique blue, in my opinion. It's matte, it's bright, and it's really pretty. And you'll see that when I start to put it on. But the thing is, it loses pigment very fast. The moment you start blending, it's basically off the eye, which isn't a problem because if you watched my last eyeshadow tutorial, it was a lilac tutorial, I used the Pro Fusion palette, which is $9.99. And when I blended, I did lose pigment. However, I could build it up. I'm finding with every shadow I use, every matte shadow at least, and then if I go over with a shimmer shade, it takes away the shadow under, which is unfortunate. So I'm gonna take Blue Blood on a flat brush. This is just a craft store flat brush, and I'm gonna go in and pat that on the lid. Actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder. That's the other thing. There is a lot of fallout. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna take that on a just a dry beauty blender because I really want to pack this under the eye. I'm gonna heavily apply that under the eye. If you guys know me, you know I don't like to really powder too much under the eye because it gets super dry super fast. So this is a palette that you're absolutely gonna wanna do this or do your eyeshadow first. So taking Blue Blood, I'm gonna just start to pack that onto the lid here and see how pigmented and beautiful that looks. You'll see what happens when I start to blend. So 
I found the easiest way to blend this is to use my flat brush, which I've never done, but I was using my MAC 222. That's the other brush that I'm finding is the best. I was using a number of different fluffy brushes, my Wet n Wild P20, which is like my favorite, my Smith brushes. Nothing was working to blend this out, so I just took this brush and I kind of used it to kind of blend out these edges, and that's the best way I found to not take away pigment from the lid. I am going to go in with the 222. This is just going to kind of start the foundation, and we are going to go over this with one more shade because you'll soon see it's going to lose pigment when I do take that blending brush. And that's the other thing. Even with this eye, I really like to blend my shadow like crazy. That is how I think when you have hooded eyes, using a pop of color works. You can't go too heavy in my opinion when you're working with color and you have hooded eyes like me. So I really like to focus on blending, but it's really difficult. So I'm grabbing my 222 here and I'm holding my brush out like this so I don't accidentally take the side of the brush and take more pigment away. And I'm trying to do kind of little circular motions and then I'm also kind of using windshield wiper motions and I'm not going up too high because like I said in a tutorial when I was talking about doing this I don't want this to look like Mimi from Drew Carey if you're older than like I don't know when that was out that was out when I was a kid so uh, I'll insert a picture so you guys can know who she is but I'm just trying to keep this really right up to my orbital bone and you can probably see like especially in the center I'm starting to lose pigment when I was doing this with just concealer I lost a ton of pigment so I'm just trying to be really careful and blend alright so I've blended that to a point that I'm comfortable with so I'm taking that flat brush once again and I'm just gonna kind of touch over so I can build up that pigment again And then I'm going to go in with ice tray and I find the best way to do this is with your finger. When I was using a flat brush, like the same brush to kind of go over, it totally crumbled the shadow under it and it was just a hot mess. So using my finger is what I found to be the best method. The same thing goes with Deceased. I feel like they're shadow toppers and they work a lot better with your finger. So taking my ring finger, I'm just going to start to kind of pat over the top to give kind of a little bit of a shimmery effect and the whole reason I did this in the first place was because I was losing so much pigment on this eye I feel like the more I'm using this the more I'm figuring out like how to get comfortable with it and that's one thing that I wanted to talk about I have no problem accommodating my technique when I'm doing makeup to a palette if I'm enjoying it like I did that with the subculture palette subculture and I enjoyed that I had no problem I have powder on my eye one second okay there we go that's one of the joys of when I apply powder under my eye it, like gets up into my eyelid but I have no problem going in and accommodating how I apply my makeup for a palette if I enjoy it but I'm just having a really hard time enjoying this palette. Like I cannot see myself grabbing for it again because of how difficult this is. And it's not just one shadow or two shadow or three shadows. It is almost every shadow and I've played with most of the palette for the last like five hours. So, okay, so because my eye is watering so much, I'm sure you guys have already noticed that. The water is kind of removing the shadow there. I'm gonna fix that in a little bit, but I do wanna blend this out, so just ignore this eye for now. I don't know if there's something about this palette that is, my skin isn't liking, but my eyes have been watering like since I've put it on, but I've also been playing with this for like five hours trying to see what shadow I could get to work, so it might just be irritated eyes as well. I'm dipping into a little bit of I'm Cold and just running that lightly along the edge to kind of get the shape that I want. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix this eye now. All right, it's not perfect, but it's a little bit better, so now I'm gonna go back to this eye and keep packing on Ice Tray because 
like I said, the more I find I apply layers, the more the more difficult it is to get them to stick. And this is when I start to get a little bit of fallout. So I'm just going to work on this until I build it up to a point that I like. All right, so real quick, I'm going to take a little bit of Cullinan. I think that's what it's called. This like icy white shade. And I'm going to just pop that right on the inner corner. I'm also going to just kind of run that down the center of the middle of my lid just to bring a little lightness there. Alright, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and dust off the bake under my eyes and then I'm just going to kind of repeat what we did on the top to the bottom. So I'm going to take blue blood and I'm going to take that from outer corner to inner corner. And then I'm going to take a little bit of undertaker, which is the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm going to kind of push that into my lower lash line. Taking undertaker on a Sigma E06 and that's going to be pushed up into the lower lash line. I like how that looks. It just takes a while to get there. Too much for a palette that costs $52 in my opinion. So I'm going to jump off here and I'm going to apply a winged liner and then I'm going to set that with undertaker to kind of tie in the blue and I'm going to hope that what happened to this eye doesn't happen to this eye. So I will do all that and I will be right back here. I'm also going to apply my false lashes. I'm wearing the kiss corset lashes today. Love these lashes, but again, they're kind of just a uh, bish to apply so I just figured since everything is being kind of tough today we just make it a little more tough and apply some lashes that are tough so I will be right back here all right lashes are on this guy's still drying a little bit and overall I think this looks very pretty however the process of getting here is not one that I want to go through again I think you can definitely make this palette work like I did but it took me about five hours of playing with almost every shade in this palette to figure out what was able to work for me and I went through like every single option of primer I could possibly go through until finally the Milani worked. I don't know what it is about the Milani primer, but somehow that beat out everything else I tried. So like I said, I have hooded eyes and I don't like to go in with a ton of shadows. So if you were a beginner and you got this palette, I couldn't imagine you'd really be able to play with this. And I think I am holding it to a higher standard because I loved blood sugar. I thought that blood sugar was so good. Every single shadow in there worked, blended, no patchiness. They all worked together and I could get really creative with that. Now with that said, this is a cool tone palette. They're blue shades. I don't typically wear blue eyeshadow, but I was really excited to kind of explore and unfortunately the process of playing with these really turned me off to it. So I'm definitely not going to be grabbing for this palette again. I really wouldn't recommend it to you guys because of all of the issues that I had. Maybe I have a dud. I don't know. I watched a lot of tutorials on YouTube because I was like, there's no way I'm using a Jeffree Star palette and I'm having this much of a problem. So I went on YouTube and I looked up a lot of different reviews and some people really loved it, but then some people hated it as well. So I, buyer's choice, I did want to put this out there in case you did buy it. I know I've mentioned it a few times on here, how excited I was for it. So if you did buy it, I did want to give you guys a tutorial that would work. This is very pretty. I would walk out with it. It was just a very long process of getting here. So. I hope this was somewhat helpful to some of you if you guys were questioning getting this palette. If you have any questions, please let me know below. Let me know your feedback. If you did try it, let me know if you like it. Do you think I got a dud? Please, please let me know below because I am very, very curious. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, I post every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central and every Sunday at 12 noon. I do think I'm going to post this on a Friday, however, as kind of a bonus video because I do want to get this out there for you guys. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.